Hello all, welcome back to our tutorials. Let us continue our discussion on the DRAM memories and uh, uh, we will focus on uh, DDR5 uh, in this particular tutorial. So we will give a glimpse of uh, um, the DDR5. <clears throat> the first thing we need to know why DDR5 is required and uh, <clears throat> what are the applications of it. So basically any uh, generation of DDR which is a double data rate memory um, is uh, basically to increase uh, the speed, consume low power and basically access more data at a time uh, um, at a given time. So that is the bandwidth basically. So that is the intention of any DDR generation uh, that is coming up. So DDR5 is not an exception to that and uh, mm, this is a new memory from uh, the generation of DDRs and uh, right now at the moment uh, it can support up to 4.8 Gbps. So they, the, the actual standard has uh, a different data rate that is targeted at but uh, the chips right now available um, modules that are available um, are targeted at this particular speed and <clears throat> similar to oh, the previous DDRs uh, uh, this also has uh, a low power version which is called uh, LPDDR5 uh, and uh, as we know uh, LPDDRs basically are, are targeted to be used uh, for smartphones and uh, laptops. So this particular uh, DDR5 is targeted at PCs and uh, um, the bigger servers uh, um, kind of environment uh, and LPDDR is targeted at smartphones and laptops and uh, um, the memory now basically uh, DDR5 operates uh, at a voltage of 1.1 volt, wow, very low voltage, right? Mm, one of the important feature uh, which uh, uh, differentiates a LP, a D, a DDR5 from previous generations is that uh, uh, the voltage is generated internally by uh, an on-chip regulator. Uh, so and uh, mm, this gives an advantage of uh, um, the power being restricted to a particular location and uh, and hence uh, uh, less noise shall be generated. So that is one important feature we can say and uh, this uh, uh, has similar uh, on die termination um, like the previous generations. Mm, and the main uh, um, feature uh, due to which <coughs> uh, the speed uh, is higher in this is uh, uh, the burst length which is around 16 uh, for DDR5. Continuing our discussion, so this is one of the uh, um, uh, uh, figure from uh, um, a website, uh, a Renesis. Uh, uh, they uh, just uh, showed us what is their portfolio that can be used on a DDR5. Mm, so the, the, the uh, modules you see in the diagram are the RDIM chips, uh, the DDR5 chips and uh, <coughs> Renesis offers uh, uh, different uh, uh, chip portfolios uh, um, like uh, um, the temperature sensor on board or the RCD, um, register clock detect and then uh, the PMIC, uh, the power management IC and uh, the serial presence detect SPD. Um, so all these uh, uh, are uh, available from Renesis and uh, uh, this gives us a glimpse of what are all the components that could be there on a RDIM module and the other chips that you see on the board here um, all these <coughs> are basically the um, modules the memory modules and these uh, are very important uh, the RCD the PMIC temperature sensor and SPD hub are very important uh, uh, to the functionality of this. So just to give a glimpse, uh, SPD, the serial presence detect, uh, mm, contains uh, the data uh, related to the DIM modules uh, and uh, <coughs> um, before uh, you um, use this uh, DRAM in a particular board uh, when it is inserted in a slot, uh, uh, the, the serial presence detect helps uh, uh, to give out uh, the um, configuration data of this RDIM and as uh, generations progressed from DDR3 um, the <coughs> SPD data has increased so uh, the amount of memory required also has increased. Um, so the, the SPD chip 
uh, is uh, very important. So, just to give a glimpse, this is how the RDIM module of a DDR5 looks. Mm. Current processors supporting DDR5 include uh, Intel Sapphire Rapid. Um, this is a next gen uh, um, processor from uh, uh, Intel. Uh, so, this uh, um, is reported to be supporting DDR5, and then uh, the AMD next generation processors also looks to be uh, supporting. So, while these are all uh, <coughs> the projections from uh, uh, respective uh, processor uh, vendors, um, uh, we have to see uh, what are the uh, modules that are going to support DDR5. And Continue our discussion. Uh, this is uh, uh, the difference uh, uh, between different DDRs, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, and DDR5, because it is very important that we understand the difference between uh, uh, these different DDR versions. For example, if you see uh, the supply voltage, um, initially during the DDR2 days, it used to be 1.8, and then we know DDR3 is 1.5. Um, the DDR4 has gone down to 1.2. Now DDR5, uh, we talk 1.1, uh, and LPDDR5 uh, operates at 1.05 volt. These are kind of uh, <coughs> voltage rails that are supported by different DDRs. And then, as we mentioned, um, the burst length is one of the important uh, factor in determining the speed of the DDR. Uh, so right now, DDR5 and LPDDR5 has a burst length of 16. Mm, whereas DDR3, uh, mm, which is most uh, commonly used in embedded applications these days uh, as a BL8 and DDR4, which is already used by many vendors is a BL8, whereas the old DDR2 uh, uh, used to support BL4. And one of the prominent feature we said, uh, mm, the DDR5 <coughs> and LPDDR5 has on-chip regulator, uh, whereas the other DDRs, uh, uh, doesn't support uh, and <clears throat> the termination voltage basically all the DDRs of uh, different generations require this termination voltage and then considering uh, coming to the bus width uh, um, data bus width uh, from DDR2 till DDR5 a, all the DDRs have um, a 64 bit uh, additionally DDR4 and DDR5 has uh, uh, ECC bits um, for the um, error related uh, functionality um, <coughs> has additional bit size uh, other than this uh, uh, 64 bit. For example, if you take DDR4, uh, that comes around, around 72 bit with the 8 bit ECC. Um, and uh, <coughs> for DDR5, there are two channels actually, each of 32 bit and uh, each has a different ECC. So that meant uh, 40 bit uh, um, interface uh, for uh, a single channel. Um, and then LPDDR5 is 16 bit and it has more number of channels internally. So that, th these are the main differences with respect to the data bus. Mm, and as we mentioned, <coughs> channel count uh, for DDR5 uh, is two definitely. And <coughs> considering the data rate, um, we knew that DDR2 operates up to maximum of 800 Mbps uh, and uh, DDR3 had a capability to support up to 1.6 Gbps uh, of data rate, whereas DDR4 uh, has 3.2 Gbps. Um, and right now, um, DDR5, uh, the chips available, uh, the RDIMs available are um, up to 4.8, but uh, uh, the actual capability is projected to be around 6.4 uh, Gbps for DDR5 and LPDDR5. Coming to other specs, uh, <clears throat> so compatibility is the most important thing. Uh, while uh, the DDRs are not backward compatible with respect to uh, their functionality, uh, but uh, mm, one important feature we see here is that uh, the DDR5 and DDR4 uh, and DDR5 can be used in the same DDR3 slots. Uh, uh, but uh, mm, the functionality wise, if you see, they are not uh, definitely backward compatible. Uh, so example, if you take uh, a motherboard which has a existing uh, <coughs> uh, DDR, uh, you can replace with a higher one, um, but cannot expect the performance uh, up to that level. Uh, but still the slot wise, uh, they are compatible, but function not uh, uh, functionally um, or uh, the specs wise, uh, you might not see the performance that is seen with uh, uh, the higher grade DDRs. <clears throat> and then 
applications wise if you see uh, um, ddr2 was intended to be used for smartphones tablet and commercial uh, so when we say commercial this uh, these are more for the uh, common embedded applications which are used in the industry uh, um, for different domains and the ddr3 uh, targeted for pc smartphones tablet and commercial which is still predominantly used in most of the um, motherboards uh, that we purchase and uh, DDR4 specifically was developed for uh, PC market and servers uh, and smartphones. The latest DDR5 uh, <clears throat> basically is for uh, uh, PC market and servers at the moment. Um, LP DDR5 um, more than PC market and servers, they are intended for uh, uh, smartphone and tablet kind of applications. Uh, um, so these are the different uh, uh, di these are the differentiation between the different uh, DDR modules. Uh, hope uh, we we were able to give. Uh, some information about DDR5 um, and uh, you can add your comments uh, in this video uh, and uh, uh, help others learn regarding uh, uh, any other new points with respect to DDR5 or any technology related uh, points. Uh, please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.